Welcome back to another episode of the Cast Patrol Podcast. You're joined as always by myself, Mick, and Jimmy. No age this week. Where is he, Jim? Mate, he's on the couch with the feet up. Or is he still in hospital? I don't know. No, he's probably back at home now. But yeah, he's had ACL surgery, so yeah. he's having the night off. Yeah, he's quick to put on the Instagram story. Oh, oh he's I mean, quick, you, isn't he? He think he did a post before and then after and then re- recovery story the whole thing is he milking it a little bit i think so yeah. he likes he's, i mean look fair enough i mean poor bloke did his acl and was it meniscus and the whole thing yeah whole knee's gone whole knee i think they tried to take a bit of his quad wasn't long enough so taking a hammy it's too small mate too small of a quad apparently yeah 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 he, he reckons it was too big and the tender wasn't long enough but Nah, it doesn't he's spinning stack up. yards. He's spinning he, yards. He's been messaging some uh, ex NRL players in our DMs asking for ACL recovery advice. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw he's messaging Hodko. Yeah, Hodgkinson. Yeah. yeah, so it's a bit of a weird one, but he's forgiven. Yeah. He's there. Age, we're sending you our wishes, and all the patrollers are too. Yes. But let's get best. straight into it. NRL headlines. So, first things first, the big news of town Cowboys are on top. Mate, well done, Jimmy. Owen, they're 3 0, not 0 3. 3 0. Cows on top. Great start to the year. The only team to be 3 0 as well. That's I wild. Yeah. Mm. So, outright first, Cowboys on top. Thank you very much. I did say this. I did preface this before the season that we we're in for a good year and um, yeah, it's been a good start. Does it worry you now Clifford's not going to come in and win the Daly M? Mate, Chad Daly M. Chad Daly M. <laughs> yeah, maybe Chad Daly M now. No, um, we can't start this. <laughs> poor Cliff, yeah, he's still biding his time, but like, plays, everyone's playing well. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's good. It's good signs up north. Oh, 100%. And I think the way you guys are winning too is impressive. You know, Very la- convincing. Last week, came back from the death against yeah. the Knights. This week, how much were you down by? Hey, we were down 18-6. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we're down 18-6 and I actually turned it off at that point. Did you? And then, yeah, because I was away, as you know. And then I was like, Fuck, let me check the score. Mate, 22-18 halftime thing. What's going on? Yeah. And I checked back. It's 46 to 20 or something. I'm so... The quality of your left edge is really showing that. Strong. It's Deard and Drinkwater, Holmes and Talangi on the left. Talangi on the left, yeah. It's like, I think for a few years, they've always been young and just getting yeah. better and better. And you now, f- you're seeing it. Finifiaki on that left edge now with yeah. Luki out. He's just damaging ball runner. But I think the, the the slow starts have to, we've got to improve on that. We can't be leaking, you know, three tries in 10 minutes. That's not good enough, especially against the good teams. But I'm sure Toddy will, will be into him this week. Big game against Brisbane. For the, for the derby, so. It's always a good game. And the other end of the table, you got mine and Ages team, South, yeah. on three. We're the talk of the town at the minute. We get the clicks in the media. It's yeah. sad to see South at the bottom. It's the first time they've been last in 14 years. Last time was round two in 2010. Yeah, that's crazy. So 2010, if you look at our roster then, you're looking at like Dave Taylor's and <laughs> yeah, hey. Bo Champions of yeah, the world. Yeah, it's yeah. a long time Sato, ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How um, do uh, South turn it around, you reckon? <laughs> I actually I don't know. I think yeah. I think there's a few things in our game we just got to clean up. Yeah. Um. I think the big preface is if you listen to all their media, um, and the coaches' comments and everything, it's just they need to work harder in defence. Yeah. And just be there for one another. I think there's signs of it, but we're still it's just those errors that are just creeping into our game. We're, yeah. We're completing, we're not completing sets like we should be, especially no. coming up against the good teams. Um. Since round 12 last year, you've done the stats, Jimmy. You, yeah. you can see them there. Well, since round 12 last year, you've played 16 games, won four, lost 12. So we've won four. There were things there against the Dragons, Tigers, yeah. Titans, and Warriors. Warriors, obviously, a very good win in New Zealand. But 348 points loss to, to 467. So conceding an average of 29 points per game. See, that's, that's concerning. It's concerning. They always say that defense wins games yep. and defense wins comps. Yep. Like you look at someone like Penrith, they're obviously doing around 10 points, 12 points a game. Yeah, 29 is very worrying. I think we, in the past we've relied on our attack that can get us out of a hole and, hey, you guys score 30, we'll score 40. So yeah. now I just think the attack, for whatever reason, it's not clicking this year. But yeah. there's, there's signs that You guys it, have it can, a top eight, top four squad. Yeah, it's a top four squad and there's no no lack of talent in there. No. There's def, I think – I think each week, I don't know, there's glimpses that of hope for South Sydney, but yeah. at the minute, it's just es- not there. Especially losing to the Roosters 48 to 6. Yeah, it, that it wasn't hurt. good. I think it hurts all South Sydney fans. And yeah. it, it, the boys are hurting more than more. Must than win game this week. Must win Good Friday. It's always a good clash with the dogs. It yeah. doesn't help dogs win 32 0, but 
Dogs looked good last week. Dogs looked very good. So it's just one of those things that I don't know. I think time will help them. Yeah. And I think all it takes is one win. They'll get one, two, three. They'll go on a roll. String a few wins together, build up the confidence. Exactly. And they keep talking about 2014 when we won the first game, lost to the next three in a row. So it's not uncharted territory, yeah. but yeah, it's it's uh it's de- definitely definitely tough times sitting at the bottom, but we'll be back. It is. Um, another team struggling. Bit of news, Titans. We're two for the Titans, Jimmy. Hey, huge news this week. Tino is obviously out for the year, ACL. But yeah, I don't know what's going on with the Titans. They're in, it seems to just be yeah, a lot of problems up there. I mean, defense, like we just said, wins games. They conceded 32 last week, week before 28. You know, that's one try in two games. Like the attack's not even getting him there. Attack's not there. Look, they, they need. For feeder back desperately. Yeah. Well, he's named I think eighteenth. Eighteenth, yeah. Um, they need him back desperately. Tino's a huge loss. You know, they they need some of those young boys in that forward pack to step up. You know, they signed young Keenan Palacio from Broncos. He who need to step up. Fodawaka needs to go to another level. Jolliffe, you know, all these forwards like that's a huge loss to cover Tino. Like you said, just reading off their forward pack, eight to thirteen. It's Fodawaka, State yep. of Origin forward. Randall, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Palacia, yet to see his best. Yep. Haas, still young, firmer back from an ACL. Jolliffe had a good game, but... He did, yeah. It's tough in their forward pack. It is tough, yeah. Um, and especially losing Tino now, it's only going to get tougher. Um, yeah, Tino, but one of the best forwards in the league. And their yeah. captain, it's, their it's leader, a tough loss. Um, so, yeah, I, I think, yeah, I don't know what, where to now for, for the Gold Coast. I think they versus the Dolphins this week. Back at home, mm-hmm. they will need to put up a good performance Dolphins fresh off a bye. They, you know, obviously coming off a good win against the Dragons. So if there's anyone that can do it, Des Hasler can turn him around. Yeah, Desi. Desi, I'm sure he's been in situations like this. I don't know about Brimo at center. Yeah, I feel like he doesn't get as much ball as he needs to be. He's a bit of an energetic fullback like by trade like Gutho that yeah. just get touches on the ball. He needs to be on the ball. I think now Jaden Campbell's back at fullback. That will it offer will a lot. Him. It will yeah. help him a lot. I think Keeney is still young and a bit inexperienced, yeah. but he's showing signs that he can definitely 100%. do his job. I think Jaden Campbell was a huge in this week. Um, but yeah, I think for Fida, hopefully this week, if not next week, will be a big inclusion. But yeah, no, I've got no words for Gold Coast. And you're a Queenslander. Tino's out now. Who replaces him in that Origin squad? Well, I think the good thing about Queensland is they've got a lot of depth, especially yeah. in the forwards. You know, we had likes of Pop Good, Horsburgh, who, you know, didn't really get a crack at last year. So I think we'll see one of them, like Hopgood or, or Horsburgh, will come in into mm. the team. Probably Hopgood, I'd say. He's probably leading yep. at the moment. Um, but, yeah, I mean, there's I'm sure Billy will work it out. But, yeah, the good thing about Queensland is there's plenty of depth, especially mm. in the forwards. So. 100%. And the fullback, Walsh and Ponga. Well, let's yeah. get into our round three review. So, Jim, you can start things off. Which team impressed you the most? Yeah, I'm going to go – look. I know you won't like this one, but I'm going to go to Chooks. Ah, thanks, mate. <laughs> um, obviously, as we know, Seattle weren't at their best, but I was just really impressed with how the Chooks went on with their business. You know, they um, their forwards laid the platform early, which freed up, you know, Walker, Sand and Teddy out the back. And, yeah, I think, it, you know, it wasn't obviously an ideal start for South Wales with uh, the, the strip from Awali. But I think, yeah, after that, you know, Bruce has really put South to the sword, especially when they put a few points on, they... You know, they didn't take the foot off the gas. So yeah. hates for me to say, but Roosters were good all around the park. Yeah. Tedesco looks like he's back to his best. Teddy which, looks fit and fitter firing. than ever. Had a good off season, and obviously Dom Young. Dom just, Young, he, looked, he was impressive. Like the young halves, Sandon and Sam Walker, they they are so similar. They play exactly the same, so and they look similar. very similar on the they field. They do. Like at one point, Santa did something, and I thought it was. I thought Sam Walker. Was that came, that kick that he did? Or was that Walker? Who did that little off the kick? deck? That was yeah. Sandon. See, it was a very similar players. Yeah, so like stuff like that, just backing yourself. Like you love to see it. So, now nah, Roos is impressive, and like Rad's in the middle is playing. You know, eighty minutes. He looks back to his best as well. Which and they is got good. up for Jared's three hundredth game. Yeah, yeah. My uh, team that impressed me, the West Tigers. I didn't think I'd be saying this this week. Hey. I think if you looked at the tipping, I think everyone would have put Sharks as their 100%. guarantee for the week. Yeah, I, I think Sharks didn't play their best, but yeah. you play whoever's in front of you on the day. 100%. Tigers were up and roaring at Leichhardt Oval. Lockie Galvin, you can hey. see why Benji has put him in the team early. Looks good, doesn't he? He's super young. Yeah. Just fresh. He plays what's in front of him. So mm. he has that structure, but he can also... Like there's times when he was just skipping across field and play Olam short. Like he, he's just backing himself, backing himself. And yeah. for a kid that 
that young. young yeah. Like think about how old we're like twenty four. Yeah. He's yeah. like six years younger than us and he's playing against Crazy. men. Impressive. And shout out doesn't to Buller. look out of out of place, doesn't oh, he? Oh, it doesn't. And Buller as well, he's just continued his form from last year. Just He's just so reliable at the back and just that yeah. X factor that Tigers were probably looking for. Sort of came out of nowhere last year as well. Wild that he apparently was a basketball prodigy and then took up rugby league a little bit later and just, yeah, it's just he's one of those weapon. freaks. So, yeah. yeah, speaking of players that impressed me, who was your player that impressed? Wait, I'm going to go another debutante for Para Blaze Talungi. He played very well. Played very well. He didn't start very well. I mean, mm. it was tough. He had he slipped and then let a few tries in, um, but I love the way he bounced back. You know, he ran over Tom Turbo. If you don't impressive. mind yeah. for for his first uh, for his debut try, but he just he just wanted to have a crack, mm. you know. He he just wanted his hands on the footy. Um, was good coming out of his own den. Was tough, um, you know. Made plenty of tackles, you know, especially on debut uh, against that hot manly side. Um, I thought he, he looked really good and didn't look out of place in first grade at all. Five eight this week. Interesting. It's his natural position. So Apparently, yeah. So we'll see what he's got to offer. And they're playing the Tigers. Yes. My team move that impressed me this week. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, 100%. How about you? Who impressed you? Jacob Kiraz, friend of the show. Yeah. He, one thing that when he spoke to us in the podcast, he always spoke about how he wanted to play fullback. Yeah. He grew up in the halves. For Lebanon, he played fullback as well. He just liked yep. seeing his hands on the ball and getting getting in the grid of it, and you could see it. He just was hungry for runs. Hey, that He's offload. He's ridiculous when it comes to offload. <laughs> he might have three of them and he just throws it behind him. Yeah. No, he, he looks really he's good. Impressed. So one try, ran for 122 metres, 11 tackle busts to his name. Yeah. Especially that try he scored, just held Brian Kelly, just told him the whole way and then put the ball over the line. Yeah. Belmore was up and about for Kiraz. Yeah, mate, 32 nil. Him and Preston on that same side, that's a good young combo, and... Both on the cast patrol. And both they both scored. The cast effect. Well, did you see? Hosty scored this week. Yeah. Cast patrol. Preston, Preston scored. Kiraz scored. Yep. Have we had anyone else? I don't think Mark so. Mark Nichols had the boy. Nichols had the boy. Uh Campbell's injured. Campbell's injured. Uh I think that's it. Yeah, I think We're so. We're missing someone. We're like, fuck. Are we? No, I don't nah. think so. No, that's it. Cast oh. effects, man. Cast effect. It's real. Uh before we get on to our Tips for this week, round four preview. Shout out to the bloke in the Cast Patrol tipping comp on ESPN footy tipping. Unbelievable. We've been plugging it all off season. The Green Machine. <laughs> right. That's how it's spelled. Yeah. He's, he's first in our comp with 27 points after three rounds. So you got a perfect round in there somewhere. Yeah. Because I think you get bonus points. But he's actually first in the whole of the world for tipping. Unbelievable. I think he got a perfect round. Was it the first I week? I think round one when it was a lottery. So When it was all full of upsets. And he got seven this week. The only team that let him down was the Sharks. Crazy. Fuck me dead. So, Green Machine, if you're listening, send us a DM. I want to put we, a We want to know who name. you are. Yeah, 100%. Um, so yeah, round four preview is sponsored by TBC Live. Yep. Predict, banter, win. Plenty of fun over the weekend. It seems to be growing every single week. Hey, every just time I'm on the app, it just seems to be growing the app's getting better each time. Obviously, um, you know, it's obviously not the finished product, but yeah, look, a lot of fun, a lot of banter in there. I love jumping on there, you know, predictions, banter. It's, it's just getting better and better. I think yeah. we did a video on our page and we collabed with TBC Live where we explained what TBC Live is. Yeah. Some people still don't understand the concept. concept. In short terms, hmm. basically, when your super coach is locked out, your tipping's locked out, betting, whatever. Nothing to do. Nothing to do. You're just watching the game, fair enough. But if you want to get more involved in the action, yeah. TBC Live lets you predict in the moment and literally about anything. Predict whatever you want. So there's two options. One's literally just open text where you can literally type anything saying, a thousand streakers will storm the field. Whatever. Like it yeah. might not happen, but it's your prediction. Yeah. And then on the other side, you've got the fantasy prediction where you can pick a player. So you'll, be, you'll pick Murray Talangi. Yeah. He will do quantity, one. Line break, and then you submit it in the next 10 minutes or so. Yeah. And then you just watch it happen. And then it's powered by the AI. Yeah, exactly. So you don't, yeah. So that will do the outcome for you. And then you got like minded fans like yourself, mm -hmm. rugby league lovers, they're all in the chat. Everyone's putting their two cents in because that's the whole point of that's rugby league. That's the whole point. Yeah. Watching that's the what, game, talking shit with people. Exactly. With your mates. Yeah. So some people don't have a group chat that don't want to, they don't want to talk in. I know me, I've turned off some of my group chats because yeah. the Roosters supporters are <laughs> can't stand them. These yeah. ones are neutral chats. You talk to new people online, plenty of content creators in there, trademark sports, random stats guys involved. Random stats guys in there. You've got BKR Sports in there. We're in there. Yeah. 
We might not be in this this Friday against the Dogs. I'm shitting bricks. Yeah, that's a huge that's a huge one. But, so shout um, out to the winners from last week. Jimmy, yep. do you have it written down there or do I have it? You've got it written down. Perfect. Okay, number three, Olivia Dragons top eight in second, and Lockie's NRL number one. He does he's on great. Fire. He does great content. Does yep. and he's on the app just doing doing more than enough. doing God's work. He's doing God's work. So remember, it's free to play, open to all ages, and it's available via the App Store and Google Play Store. We'll put a link in the description. Yeah. And in our bio, it's available. One click, two clicks, you'll be downloading. Yeah, open to all ages, free to play, and there's prizes online. Yeah. So I think every each week. week, it's a hundred dollar merch voucher. For yeah. Now. And as the season goes on, and yeah. there's more people signing up, bigger events like State of Origin, it just gets bigger and bigger. Last year, we gave away fucking grand, grand final, final tickets. tickets. Yeah. And we gave away jerseys. Plenty to be won. Cash. That's, cash. Oh, I'd love some cash. Yeah. But yeah, that's TBC Live. So let's get into round four. Side note, Age got three out of eight last week. He's had a shocker. He can't tip to save his life. He's lucky we don't tally it up because he oh, mate, he'd be in trouble. He'd be in big, big trouble. Yeah. All right, so let's get into it. Roosters versus Panthers. Jimmy, who are you tipping? Mate, I think I'm going to go Roosters. I mean, Cleary, huge out for, for Penrith. Um, Roosters are on fire. They get Cleary back this week. Playing good footy. I think they'll win and win pretty well, I think. Yeah, it does concern me. Cleary's out for four weeks. Scotty Sorensen out on the edge. But yeah. one thing I do like about Penrith is next man up mentality and they always bring someone in. Brad Schneider showed glimpses that he can do something hey, last Canberra. year for Raiders. Yeah. Yep. He's coming this year. He'll take over the goal kicking, I assume. And yep. yeah, I, th- I think he'll fill that gap. So I'm going with Penrith this week. Wow. Um, they've also won eight in a row versus the Roosters. So these stats are all provided by our age, our stats man. He's on the lounge, yep. high on endones probably and painkillers, and he's typing these stats away. So he's also got two powers scored. Five tries in his last five games. Oh, sorry. Toto has scored five tries yeah. in his last five games versus the Roosters. Yeah. Um, side note, how impressive has Tungo been this year? Mate, looks a real talent. We, we know he's a real talent, but um, yeah, he's just. it looks like he's gone to another level this year um, on that right edge. Bear in mind, he's run at second rolls two out of the three games, but he's only 21 and he's killing it. He's young. He's killing it. I think he could be potential origin smoky. I don't yeah. know. Who knows? Depends uh, on availability. Someone like Trell, Turbo... Probably got the mortgage. He's on probably tennis. like he's he's in the conversation. He has 100%. to. Hundred percent. We're like Braden Best made it last. He's strong carrier of the yep. ball, good defender, good in defence, can score tries. Um, he wouldn't look out of place in orange Origin jersey, but yeah, he's been very impressive. Well, Michael um, Maguire is picking the team this year, so it's a whole new roster essentially. Exactly. So yeah. Who knows what's going to happen? So, yep, I'm going Panthers. You're Roosters, going Roosters. Yep. Your second favorite team. No surprise. <laughs> Uh, Rabbitohs versus Bulldogs, the Good Friday Clash, 4 p.m. at a core stadium. So that's one of the last five Good Friday Clashes versus the Dogs. Mm. So promising on, for Good Friday stats. Promising, yeah. Um, who will you be tipping? I'm going to go Seas. I think it's probably – or it's probably not, but I would say it's must-win territory at the moment for yeah. Seas, and especially – for the coach and you know for the plays, they just have to get off mm. get off the mark. And I think it's a good chance this Friday, good Friday clash against the dogs. Dogs playing good footy will be you know they they will be up for it. Dogs mm. always up for this game, especially off a thirty two point win over the Titans. Like, yeah, they're up. For that's it. a that's a that's a confidence. Booster. And good Friday, I feel like they've always, no matter how different we are on the ladders, there's always a good battle between us. Hundred percent. Last year, I think it was a bit of a blowout, but like yeah. normally it's uh. It's close enough. The last uh, five games between South and Bulldogs have been over 51 total points. Well, there you go. So it's always high scoring, attack versus attack. Side note, Bulldogs have Josh Adokar named at 23. Mm. So he might be a late inclusion. Late inclusion. Maybe mind games. Yep. Tra- for Tracy? For maybe tr- maybe Tracy, maybe Wilson. I feel like Tracy does a lot of meters out of their own end. Yeah. But I guess Wilson's he's a try scorer as well. Well, Tracy scored it's last tough, week as well. But yeah. I think uh, dogs is, dogs are impressive against the Titans, but Titans could be favourites for the wooden spoon. Yeah, so I don't know about we, Titans. Yeah. Like we touched on, they've got a few issues of their own, um, but they're, they're packed. Max King, kick out Preston. And someone kick like out, Marnie. probably had his best game for the dogs mm. last week. Very he, impressive. He was he was really good. Um, yeah, it'll be a good game. I'm, I'm really looking forward yeah, to I'm it. I'm excited, but I'm going south like you, Jimmy. I think, uh, yeah, like you said, must win. I think South do have the better team on paper. Yeah, I know we haven't been putting the results together, but it's fucking one of those things where this could be the game that turns around the season. Hundred percent, and I hope so. Uh, we move on to your big derby, the Broncos versus the Cowboys. Yeah. So Queensland you're telling derby. me you get South at four pm, mm. 
and then you relax a little bit, then you got Broncos cows. Broncos cows. That's PM. the perfect way to spend your public holiday on a good Friday. Good Friday. No Walsh yep. for Brisbane. Obviously, fractured his cheekbone. That was a bit of an ugly one last week. Mm. Do you think May should have been suspended for it? What are your <sighs> thoughts on it? Tough three day. It's a tough one. Like I don't, I don't think there was any intent for May to go mm. in and and do what he did. Obviously, it was just an accident. Mm. I think it was a head clash. Right yeah. at the end of the day, should he have been suspended? I don't know. Like, did he cop a fine? He copped a fine. Oh. Did he get charged? I don't. He didn't get charged. So there was no grade. Yeah, okay. But look, yeah, it, look, it's, it can go either way. Look, it sucks that, you know, while she's out for what is four, it? To four to six weeks. Four to six around weeks that and, you know, you can argue May could have been suspended, but look, it is what it is. Mm. They get Sailor back in. He's done uh, six tries in his last four NRL games. So yep. he's all, he does a job when he comes in. Yeah, they're just doing the job up there. Reynolds is back at half back. He's come yep. back from the knee injury that he uh, overcame. But yeah, they're pack. I looked at it today. I was reading. I was like, Jesus, like. This yeah. is a shell of itself compared to what it was in the yeah, grand yeah. final. Corey Jensen, Billy Walters, Fletcher Baker, Jaden Hunt at number 11. Yeah. I'm not too familiar with Jaden Hunt. Is it the Dragons? Okay, yeah. yeah and then Jordan Ricky, Paddy Carrigan. So you get your two th- th- thoroughbreds there. Yeah. Compared to your pack, it's pretty, Very much, good. pretty much close to full pretty fitness the same, except yeah. for Lukey. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think if Broncos are to win, it's going to come down to their backs. Yeah, Renault sh- has to have a, a, a good game. Yeah, Renault's got to kick. That's a good inclusion for them. Out. And Cobo and Staggs just in the centres could do damaging. But someone like Holmes is the perfect person to shut yeah. down um, Cobo. No. Staggs, yeah. Staggs? Staggs on the Staggs right. Staggs on the yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, That'll right. be a good battle, Staggs versus, um, versus Holmes. Mm. And then you've got Laybutt versus – Laybutt will have his work cut out against Cobo. Um, but, yeah, it'll be a good game. I think Cows win. Obviously, I'm tipping the Cows, but – I think, you know, we're in good form. Broncos, a few injuries, concerns of their own. So, yeah, I think Cows would be too good. I'm with you, Jim. I'll be going the Cowboys too. Yeah. Even though Broncos have won the last three in a row versus Cows. They've got a wood over us, yeah. Just a bit too many outs of Broncos and obviously Payne Haas, the massive out Huge. from uh, the last fortnight. Yeah. Uh, we go on to our next game, the Dragons taking on Manly at Wynn Stadium. It's an interesting one, this one, because mm. Man- Manly – they probably should have beat Para, I think. Manly probably should be 3-0. They were 14 nil up. Then Gee, they started like a house on fire, oh, didn't they? Unreal. I um, think um, it's good to see Turbo back in full flight. He's uh, Turbo looks like Turbo yeah. of old, which is good. <laughs> Daly Cherry, Cherry Evans is... I was about to say. Cher- he's yeah. just... He knows... You can see he's the experience so in him. He does some things where... Like if another halfback in the NRL did it, you think, mate, what the fuck are you doing? Like but he, when Cherry does it? It makes sense because yeah. he gets results. Like he comes out of dummy half, runs left, right. It's like he's... He and he'll catch like, the markers um, off guard. Like. Yeah, exactly. He plays like a, like a running nine, but then plays halfback. Yeah. Very weird. Um, I think Manly will be too good for this one, but Dragons have won the last seven out of ten matchups yeah, against Yeah, interesting. Them. That's an interesting record. Mm. I don't know about the Dragons. Like they obviously... Was it they got pumped around... Oh, they had the bye No, they, they won round one. Oh yeah, they won round one. They were against um, uh, the Titans. Titans, yeah. Oh, they smoked them. Yeah, smoked them. Then they lost. Or did they have a buy? They they lost the Dolphins. They lost the Dolphins. They got and smacked. Then they lost and then they got to... smacked again. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on there. They've leaked a fair few points. Wait, so they've, they've played three Queensland teams in three weeks. Dolphins, Titans, Titans cows. Yeah, all the way. No, nah, they, they played. Um, they played at home against Cowboys. Yeah, it's okay. So yeah. now they're back at. Well, they're playing a win. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know about the, like that's con- no, that's a concern. Like, mm. but thirty eight against the Dolphins and forty six last week. So their defense is the issue. Their attack's not bad with Flanagan and Hunt. I think they've got a few points are, in them. Those two complement each other really well. Sloan out the back. Yeah, Sloan's done well. Sloan's good. He's um, definitely improved. But I think Manly will be too strong. Yeah, I'm going Manly on this one. Titans taking on the Dolphins. So I'm going to say Dolphins on this one. I'm back in the Dolphins. Dolphins yeah. have never lost to Gold Coast Titans. They're two out of two. Well, there you go. Yeah, I think we spoke about it before. I think Titans, it's, they've got, you know, fair few injuries, concerns of, of their own. And um, yeah, I think I think the Dolphins would be too classy for them. Is this Dolphins' best back line that they got playing? Hammer, Jermaine Asako, Avrilo, Farnsworth, Bostock, Code Nicker, and Makatoa. I think so. I mean, you can argue, you know, like obviously Sean O'Sullivan 
Maybe halfback. Maybe halfback, but Katoa came in and did, and did a job for them round two against the Dragons. Other than that, I, I can't really see any other changes. I mean, you can, you know, Tessie played round one, then got drops for, for Avarillo, who. But I think that was coming. Avarillo was signing there yeah, on good yeah. money, so. But I think, yeah, for sure, I think if you say that's their best one to seven, yeah, you probably say. One player that you've got to watch out for is Max Plath at lock. Yeah, mate. Max he's uh, He's impressive. He's uh he played in the reserves playing lock. He's not a natural lock, but he's no. a five eight by yeah. trade. But he's one of those ones that the lock's evolving. Like he's like a smaller build, yeah, right? Yeah, it's evolving yeah. in the lock position. So especially when you need someone linking it up in between. He, I think you, I think a lot of teams need those locks now in the game. Like you you can see like Cotter sort of set the benchmark and then you've got like Salmon for dogs who's trying to do the same. We well, see Isaiah Yo, how much Yo, involvement he has. Murray. Rads. Yeah. Um, so I think we're going to see a lot more of these like smaller builds in the middle that can play big minutes. If Titans are to win, it's going to come back to Jaden Campbell impressing at fullback, like yep. we know the X factor he has, back. and for Fida if he plays. If he plays, yeah, yeah. So I'll be going Dolphins. Yeah, I'm going to go Dolphins as well. Warriors taking on the Knights. This is probably the toughest game. Easter Sunday. I do love Easter Sunday footy. You've had a good meal after Easter. Yeah. You're stuffed. You lie in the lounge. You go, fuck it. What's on? Who's What's playing? On? Who's playing? It always seems to roll me either way. <laughs> but is it 2019, Jimmy? Because RTS has been named at fullback for the Warriors. Mate, RTS, yeah, there's glimpses of uh, 2019. He's He looks very good. He, yeah, it looks like he just never missed a beat, doesn't he? He's just no. come back and he's just been on fire um, for the Warriors at centre. He played a bit of fullback. Last week as yeah, well. Yeah, to fill in. It's going to be a scary thought when Chance comes back into that team, not, given that Chance was one of their best players last mm. season and crucial. Does Chance go centre? No, nah, I think you still go Roger centre. I think yeah. Chance is a is their best fullback for the team. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's but the way be, he was just skipping across the field to score that try, he was skipping across and that right foot ridiculous step, got through the line. It was like, fuck. and then you got someone like Dallin out the back, just continually making meters from their own end. Yeah, um, SJ obviously still there. Warriors have won four of their last five games at Go Media Stadium versus the Knights. Uh, they got a fifty six point three percent win rate there. Yeah. Um, shout out to Dallin with Tenny Zalesniak, who scored four tries in his last three games versus the Knights. Yeah, I think I'm going to go the Warriors. I'll here. be going Warriors too. I think in New Zealand at home, yeah, on the back of a good win there against the Raiders. Mm -hmm. uh, Knights, were they, they weren't impressive, and they haven't been this season. They haven't been this season. No. Um, they did a gritty win over Melbourne, but it's just not how they were finishing their year last year. Yeah, like they got the win, but was it convincing? Probably not. So. Yeah, I think they've got to be a bit more work to do. So I think the Warriors... Who's your new favourite player for the Knights in their back row? Kai Pitts Paul. <sighs> he looks good, doesn't he? Mate, he does. He looks very good. Do you um, think he will play 80 minutes this week given Brody Jones is named on the bench? I think so. I think he'll still play 80. Who does Brody Jones maybe like? Maybe he'll just come on in the middle, I'd yep. say. Um, Pitts Paul, yeah, I think he played 80 last week as well, 80 minutes. But yeah, he's got, got a motor on him. He's big. He's rangy. Um, got an offload, so yeah, it looks good. I'll be going Warriors, but if Knights can win this week, they can put a bit of show on for the NRL saying, hey, look, we, don't rule us out. We beat yeah. Melbourne, beat Warriors. 100%. In fact, I don't know who they play next week, but I'd be very scared if they come off a win. Yeah. But uh, Warriors for me. Sharks taking on Raiders, also on Easter Sunday. How good is that? You get, <laughs> you get leftovers, seconds. You go back for seconds. Yeah. And you watch Sharks taking on the Raiders. Yeah. Tough one, this one, because Raiders obviously been impressive. They almost beat Warriors. Sharks not been at their best. They nah. didn't look great against the Tigers. No, they didn't. Um, who are you be going this one, Jim? I'm going to go – I was tossing and turning with this one, but yep. I think I've landed on the Sharks mm. back at home, back at Shark Park. They couldn't go any worse than what they did last week. I think they have they can only improve. They've got – they, I think they're forwards. They've lost a lot of experience in the yep. forward pack. I think their names are quite a young forward pack. Yeah, so we're looking at Thomas Hazelton starting, yep. Oregon, Kafusi, Sifatala quite named at second yeah, row. Yeah, got That's moved to the back row, row. yeah. Uh, Teague Wilton and Cam McInnes. Yeah. Do you think that Talakai to the back row is a fit to try and get Iroh playing in the team? I think it was just because Nicker is out. Yeah. Do you think if Nicker comes back, Talakai shoots back to yeah, centers? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Um, um, but yeah. there's big raps on Iroh, so it's keen to see yeah, him. Yeah, no, in the I'm, I'm keen to see him play. There's, apparently, there's a bit of Val Holmes in him mm -hmm. um, is that, there? That, that they say. So, so they say. Um, but yeah, it would be good to see him play. He's obviously been touted for a while as, mm. um, as the next um, big thing for, for the Sharks. So, 
Yeah, it'll be interesting to, to see him play. But yeah, I think I'm going to go Sharks just in a close one. I'll be going Sharks too. I'm with you. Sharks a bit of my hoodoo team when it comes to tipping. Yeah. I just have a love-hate with them. I remember last year when they played Roosters in the semis. Just, mm. They just don't deliver for me half the time. Yeah. So it is concerning though that Raiders have won nine out of their last Raiders, 10 against Sharks. Raiders have been good this year. Yeah. Raiders have been good this year. Um, Considering everyone had them in the bottom four, they lose Jack yeah. White and they, Croker retires. You just weren't sure with the Raiders this mm. year, but they, look, they've proved me wrong. I know it's only been three rounds, but yeah, I've, I've liked what I've seen from them. Corey Halls, bro. Named at 19. Can't get a crack. That's a weird one because he played State of Origin, who's probably their best forward last year given yeah. circumstances. Played Cup last week as he well. He can't, can't get a run in that team. So just reading their forward pack, Papa Lee, Tarpany, Young, Whitehead, Smithies. Yeah. Okay. Atta Mariota, Zach Hosking, Pasami Solo. Yeah. I think maybe over Solo or Mariota. But yeah, but I think Ricky just maybe likes um, the impact of – Mariotta and mm. Solo at the moment. And I guess they've got Zach Hosking on the bench, so... You've got to fit Hosking in. Yeah, you've got to fit... Maybe is Gould too many named? Gould's not named, no. Is he's he uh, must be out injured. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you still got Gula there as well. So, I mean, that just shows you the depth of their forward pack. Wow, Emre Gula will play New South Wales Cup this weekend. Oh, really? Wow. So, they got Gula and Horsburgh in, in cup. cup. I didn't think Gula was that bad. I thought he added a bit to the forward been so, yeah. Well, there you go. I mean, just yeah, like I said, it just shows. I mean, how um how stacked their forward. Yeah, how stacked is. their forward. We did say it in the preseason, but yeah, sharks for me. And the final game of the round is Eels taking on the Tigers at Combank Stadium. Yes. Sevo returns from his suspension. Much needed strike power out wide, I think. Yeah. Um, Eels win. Eels win. I think so. I'm popular. I'm going Tigers this week. Really? I liked wow. what I saw last week. Yeah. I think Moses is a huge Moses out Moses is a para. huge out and Cardi's injured as well. Cardi, if he's named, but apparently he's got a on. broken rib, might be playing through pain. Yeah. If Tiger's in a win, it's going to be this week. Remember they had that famous win? Hastings field goal. Hastings field goal. Yeah. Look, fuck what everyone says. I'm going the Tigers this week. I like it. Even though Eels have won nine out of their last 10 matchups the wood over versus him, yeah. the Tigers. So, yeah, and Eels love playing at Combank, winning 41 uh, winning 41 games out of 56. So. Yeah, they love they so love So that's the tips of the round. That's sponsored by TBC Live. Remember yep. to download TBC Live by using the link in our description. Mm-hmm. It's in our bio or just searching it on your designated app store. Yeah. Try score, try factor, Mick. Let's get into it. So last week, H had Katoa. Uh-oh. Incorrect. I had DWZ. Incorrect. Uh-oh. And you had Nanai. Did you get Uh-oh. close? Don't know. I don't anyway. think so. But no one, no one got it. So let's try and get redemption. We'll read Age's one first. You can read his yep. one. Yeah, so Age has gone, surprise, surprise, Latrell Mitchell bounced back. He scored 12 tries in 12 games versus the Dogs. Also scored five in his last three versus Bulldogs. So Latrell to uh, come back, make a statement for, for Age. I'm going to go Herbie Farnworth for the Dolphins. Good matchup this week against the Gold Coast. Kelly looked a bit suspect in defense last week. So I think Herbie... Will be uh, will be poised. I That's like cool. uh, Tommy Trebojevic versus the Dragons. I it's said to you up. before. Yep. Look, he's looking like he's uh, returning back to his fitness again, speed. <laughs> he's running normally last year. I think he was holding himself back. Yeah. He was mentally not there with all the injuries. But yeah, uh, against the Dragons, who conceded plenty of points the last two weeks. So like I like it. what I see from Turbo. We're going Turbs. I like uh, it. Fill up the fridge, front rollers only. Last week we had Papa Lee, age, had him again. three weeks in a row, didn't score. He's banned from tipping him again. He is, yeah. You went Terrell May. Didn't really get close. I don't think so. And Max King, I, I didn't even know. Did he I, play? He, no, I don't even. Jesus, heavy. No. no, I think he's doing too many TikToks. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Max <laughs> Sorry, Max King. No, he, he, uh, he played no, very he played well. well. Just not, not try scoring. Yeah. So this week, I'm going to go safe. I'm going for Noor Blake. The cheat code himself. He's a cheat code. Has he scored two weeks in a row? Uh, or did he score week one and then week? He scored two tries this season. Yeah, yeah. Uh, up against the Knights. Fuck it. He's a cheat code. Yeah. It's no. him or Tino and Tino's out. Like it. Age has gone Tommy Burgess. Scored the first try in their last match versus the Dogs. And we tipped him, actually. That. Did we? Yeah, last year. So, oh, interesting. Um, but yeah, Tom Burgess for Age. And then I'm going to go Taniela Paseca for Manly. Wow. So Dragons conceded a few tries to our middles yep. last week. So more of the same this week would be nice. Paseca. Like it. Well, let's hope we can hit one because we didn't hit anything last week. No, we didn't. Remember, it's all for the fun and games. It is. All right. Listen to questions for this week. Here we go. First one at Mickey Valario. What current NRL player after he retires could coach an NRL team? Ooh. I think your first indicator is you've got to look at captains. I think captains are always a good indicator. I reckon. 
Who's your pick? Cherry Evans. I can just. I was literally going to pick Cherry. Yeah, Evans. Just I, I can just. Him. I just. I can just picture him. You can see him. He's smart. Knows what he's doing. Knows the game. Yeah, I think he'd be a good coach. Um, Anyone else? I don't mind Cody Walker for South. Like he's yeah. all, he has aspirations to become a coach. He's said it multiple times on Fox Sports. Yeah. Um. And yeah, you can see that he's a vocal voice. Um. When it comes to like in their huddles on the field mm. during games, so like him. Kiraz said Crichton. Yeah, or the dogs. He's a big, big influence in their sheds. Yeah, like it. Um, Anyone from Cows? Maybe Chad Townsend? Chad, yeah. <laughs> don't know if he'd be like, just give me coach vibes. Who, Chad? Chad, no, yeah. not Chad. Maybe. All right, let's just pick a team. Broncos. Cleary. Would he be coach though? I feel like he's just like Joey, like he's too good where it just doesn't. Yeah, right. Okay. Breno? Breno, yeah. Breno could coach. Breno could coach. Anyone else? Anyone from like Melbourne? I can't see Munster coaching, can you? Like Christian Welch? He's good. Voice. He's more of like a prime minister, I reckon. Yeah. Than, than he's a more coach. of a reporter. Yeah. No, we're just yarn spinning. Move on. What's the next <laughs> next question? Next one at Travis Lawler. Will Rabbitohs make the top eight? I think they will. I think they'll bounce back. Yeah. Um, their squad's too good. They're to a top be, eight squad. Yeah. Top eight squad. They're too good to be missing out on the top eight. Um, it's just tough times at the minute, but there's the bounce back. I think, right they'll, I think the they'll make eight. I think they'll make it out. Remember, like, no excuses, but they've played Manly, who are in form. Yeah. Roosters, in obviously form. great. And Broncos, with all their players who are unreal. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I, I say yes. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say yes as well. Next one, Act Jackson Himo. Where do you think the Tigers will finish? <sighs> Look, I'm on the Tigers bus for this week, but I think top eight is a little bit audacious, just based on. Yeah. Like, all right, they've had this mad win, but everyone forgets round one when everyone's like, fuck, Tigers are rubbish. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the thing is, it's a long season. They just got to keep doing season. it consistently. I think they, I don't know. Like, it, they might be there fighting for the eight. Yeah. Who knows? Um, but I think anywhere between that clump of like eighth to, what is it, 14, mm. anywhere between there. So you don't think they'll get the spoon? I don't think they'll get the spoon. He's, we think, picked Dragons. I think both the Dragons us. will get the you spoon. Still think Titans. Titans is now going with in, Tino. With like, no Tino, I think Tino is a mass like huge. Losing your best player, your, your best captain, go forward, your leader. It's tough. Yeah. Shout out to all those people in Supercoach that have to trade oh. him out. Cleary this week. Uh, there's too many injuries this yeah. week. Yeah. All right. Next one. Uh, stay staying on the Tigers train at Lockie McIntyre. What's your way too early prediction for the Tigers 2025 spine? Ooh, I like you, it. You go Buller? Buller locked in. I think you go... You've got to put Luai in there? Yeah. Do you go Galvin and Luai? I'd, I think that's... Based on right now, I think you... Caesar, I think he was just a stopgap. But then you've got Latu Fainu banging down the door. The thing with Latu now is I feel like he's behind Galvin. Where, yeah. Especially since they've signed Luai. Mm -hmm. Those two be battered. So I think Buller, Galvin, Luai, Appy. That's a good spine. That's a very good spine. But just like it's a long year. Like we don't know how Galvin performed. Lightu might come in and carve up. Yeah. His brother looks unreal, by the way. Samuela. Yeah. Samuela looks unreal. He looks good. Um, scored in he, the, the first game for the Tigers. On played, debut, so, yeah. Yeah, love it. Like it. And last question for this week at Josh Robbo 14 Will Nathan Cleary's injury affect the Panthers? It would be a naive to assume that like it doesn't affect I think it will. He's, I mean, we saw in the grand final yeah. how much influence he's got we on the team. We saw last week how good of a game he played. Yeah. He's just massive loss. Massive loss. So, like not to mention the goal kicking. Like he rarely misses a kick. You're yeah. up in sixes in terms of instead of fours. Yeah. Um, I think it'll be huge. Like Brad Schneider will do a job, but Brad Schneider. Luai's got to step up. Yeah, Lua has to step up, and I think uh, you'll find someone like Yo. When Cleary was out last year, Yo was I think top in the Daly M leaderboard. Yeah. So Yo in the middle. Yo, will you, I think will step up a fair. They've bit. still got Fisher Harris out as well, so mm. a few injury concerns for Penrith. Yeah, exactly, and Sorensen as well. Yeah. Um. All right, we move on to our next segment and the final one. We got My cast favorite. calls. So Age normally does the cast calls. So bear with us if uh, we don't do it correctly <laughs> because uh, Age normally does it. Yeah. But. Here we go. All right, Let's the go. first one this week. So last week we asked listeners to say what was their favorite try of all time. Yep. So I think I said mine was Greg Inglis against the Broncos. You probably said felt in the grand Did final. Did I say felty? Yeah, I think probably. So. It's been yeah. a long week. It has been. Uh, but let's uh, play from the first one. Here we go. Hey, boys. I've decided to uh, chuck a little something different in here because 
I know that um, a lot of these answers will be the same. Um, it should be This good. one was about two, three years ago. Bulldogs first nights. Lachlan Lewis puts in a kick to Jade Nockenbaugh. I can't remember. And, uh, yeah, just beautiful try. Is that it? But now, now we're going to go through the archives to find Lachlan this try. Lachlan Lewis to Jaden Jaden Ockenball. Okay. Okay. We'll go looking for it. Bulldogs versus Knights. All okay. Right. <laughs> perfect. The next one is from Caleb. Come on, Caleb. My favourite NRL try of all time, being a Rabbitohs fan in um, Queensland, it would have to be the Greg English try against the Broncos oh, um, yeah. when he ran full field. Just such a yeah, memorable, nostalgic try. Never forget that as a Bunnies fan. Yeah, beat what? How many defenders? It was like 10. <laughs> like ridiculous. And the commentary is like, beats one, beats two, beats three. Yeah. Anyway. Very GI, good. what a superstar. Gun. Next one. Um, Let's be honest here, Cast Patrol. Um, <laughs> like. Come on. Like, I'm not even going to pull your leg here, honestly. I think it's got to be me Pookie Bear, David Mead, the Titans, <laughs> or, the, or the Broncos. Whenever the Pookie whenever bear. the the freak he scored, is he um, talking about the one on the sideline? Yeah, that fella David Mead, I'm pretty sure his name is the pretty for pretty sure for the Titans when they kicked it to him and then bounced and they yeah. caught it in his hand behind his back and then put it down. That was that was pretty good. That was yarn spinning central. That is cast. Pookie his name bear. was Fortnite Sigma. Yeah, uh, okay. that's cast. Explains it. Uh, we got two more left. Yep. On God, double user. Yes. Love Good morning, God. boys. It's on God, as always. I would say uh, a favourite NRL try of all time would have to be last year's grand final. Uh, mm-hmm. Cleary scoring the winning try. Too good. Oh. Left foot, left foot. Had five grand on Penrith to win. And when Broncos went up by a couple of tries, I just turned it off because I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I lost. And then, I would, I would tell you. My brother came into my room and then he was like, what do you call it? Look, look, they're coming back. They're coming back. I paid attention. And then that Cleary try, oh my God. What a try. One of the best tries I've ever seen. Like in terms of like the moment and the money it made me. But yeah. Like it. Can't wait to see. Um, We were in that corner. Like that's a memory we'll never forget. We, did we say we were like, in 10 minutes, we'll leave. I think Age was adamant because he, he was yeah, on penalty. We were like, I oh, will leave in like 10 minutes. He's like, no, no, we've got to leave. I'm like, who cares? Like, we're already here. Yeah. And then I think one, that, the Oda tribe were like, okay. And then Critter? Because we were in that corner, Critter scored, Cleary scored, and we're going, oh, holy shit. Mental. And the last one, I'm hesitant to play this one because I can read the name. It says Chooks 42 plus. So I can imagine who this is from. Yeah, yeah. And what they're about to say. So I'm going to take a sip Which back. try though? I don't think he's talking about tries right now. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Go on, Ainsy. Hello there, boys. This is Chooks, 42 plus here. Now, we are starting with a bit of a joke. You ready for a joke? You, no, you no. don't like jokes and fun and games, right? Here we go. So this is directed at you, Jimmy. So the other two cast losers, oh. shut your mouth and pay attention. Okay. All right, Jimmy, you ready to go? Yep. Good man, good man. All right, here we go. Knock, knock. Who's there? Owen. Owen who? South Owen 3. Fuck. <laughs> All right, oh. now let's get the business. Now, I did warn you that it was rabbit season, and rabbit season it was when, with a 48-6 thumping at the home of the Roosters. Absolutely beautiful. Tell you what, though, you guys call I can't listen anymore. <laughs> Hainsy, you're a dribbler. One of the greats, Hainsy. I love you. Sh- shit joke. Great joke, Hainsy. Oh, shit joke, Hainsy. But oh, I love it. That's all the cast calls for this week. Do we give them anything for next week? I don't have anything on top of my head, do you? No, nah, no, nah, we'll come up with a midweek. We'll give them something yeah, special. Yeah, we'll, we'll post it on the story. Uh, post it up. But that's it. It's going to be a good Friday this weekend, long weekend. Double stream this Double week. live stream. Age and I are up. You're away camping. I'm away camping, yep. So, should yeah. Should be good fun. Age on, uh, on his bed with his ACL. Who knows? That should be good fun. He can't pick winners at the best of time, let alone on painkillers. So. I'll send them through. Yeah, you send them through. <laughs> I'll, I'll pretend that they're my tips. Yeah. Um, but yeah, wishing everyone a happy Easter yep. and a good long weekend. Uh, that's all from me. That's all from me. Be back next week. We'll catch up. See you guys. Bye.